since humans first concocted spurious reasons to subjugate other humans, the titles Lord and Lady have been held to be a sign of elite status in our society. Well, now commoners can receive a legitimate British title. Due to a loophole in Scottish landowner law, anyone can become a lord or a lady, and it will cost less than $60. So how does one officially become a lady? Well, Alex Fluitt from Highland Titles joins us now. She sells these titles of nobility and also joining us to speak from her own experience, comedian Lady Julie Morris. Good morning to you both. Now, Alex. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> I've got that down I like the wave. Yeah, lovely. Where, where's your tiara, Lassie? <laughs> I, I, listen, I, I retire it for the daytime and I bring it out in the evening. You really have to learn the rules if you're going to be new gentry, darling. Well, we, we will have to, because we are new gentry. Yes, you do. Alex, can anyone... Yes. I went to Catholic boarding school for six years in order to try and become a lady. Now, with one swipe of the credit card, I've done it. Can anyone really become a lord or a lady? Yes, yes you can. Anybody can. Um, basically, for as little as 50 Australian dollars for one square foot of land in uh, Glencoe in Scotland, you can indeed become the Laird, Lord or Lady of the land. And that's purely down to um, Scottish landowners law. It's not the same sort of title that uh, you're given by the Queen and in the House of Lords, but uh, it is a uh, genuine Scottish landowners title. This is magnificent. And Alex, once we're, we're a Lord or Lady, which... which... Sammy and I now are, of course. Uh, are we in any way in line to the uh, to the British throne? I mean, because you just heard Sam say she went to Catholic school. This could cause oh, another oh another God. major civil war. I if can this change is right. that. No, it's 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 completely different to the the Queen uh, and and the title that she will give you. Right, this right. is this is a Scottish landowner's title. Well, I love the Scottish landowner's title. Don't get me wrong. I don't undervalue that at all. Alex, why did your company start to uh, <laughs> dis why did why did you decide to start selling off these portions? of the land at Glencoe. Well, a few years ago, um, we acquired a considerable amount of land uh, in Glencoe, and uh, it was originally Caledonian forest full of native broadleafs, but unfortunately the previous owners had stripped the uh, trees bare, and the land uh. was uh, in a very poor condition. So uh, we decided that we'd like to replant the trees, and obviously as funds ran out, the best way to go ahead was to uh, get the the good old public to uh, come and help us um, by purchasing these pieces of land and that's how highlandtitles.com actually found its feet. So it's actually a conservation effort for the land? Completely and primarily that is that is the reason, yes. Oh, very good. Lady Julia, why did you decide to yes. change your title? Well, uh, the lovely uh, t Australia's television doyen Michael Adato was in London eight years ago and he said to me, J-Mo, do not come back to Australia without a title. And I thought, oh, well, I've already handed my, I've given my hand to Dan now and he didn't have a title, so he went online and bought me one and it's on all of my official documents and has been for a long time. There's my credit card. And, you know, it's very handy for upgrading uh, when you arrive somewhere. You arrive at a hotel and you say, yes, I'm Lady Julia Morris. And they say, well, we've prepared the suite for you, coincidentally. Really? And I love it. I have a friend whose mother had a bet with her friends before he was born that one of her children would end up nobility, so she named him Baron. <laughs> His first name is Baron. Oh. Buying a title for sixty dollars is so much easier than wearing that title for the rest of your life. Well, wearing that monocle. Oh, oh. No, they're, 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 it really is. I must admit, I feel like uh, General Burkhold. Oh, good. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, and and your name's oh, coming out of your pipe like the Little Mermaid. <laughs> that's exactly right. Now, listen, Alex. Once we have this land, as we now do, of course, it's ladies 100, and gentlemen. Hundred square meters. Yes, you do. No, you now you now own. Hundred square feet. Oh. <laughs> That's all right. It's a little smaller than you'd imagine. You oh. won't be parking your Bentley up there anytime soon. Oh. But once we have the land, what what can we do on the land, Alex? I mean, I intend to run a, a drilling oh, operation and hope to hit some <laughs> shale oil. <laughs> well, if you get some cash. To do, by all means, and you didn't encroach on anybody else's land, that would be fine. Um, basically, anything within the law is perfectly acceptable. Um, come and camp. Oh, good. Come and fish on the lock. We've got a beautiful lock up there. Come and take in the view. Uh, come and bird watch. Come and bring your family because um, this land is yours forever and it can be passed down to your future generations. So, um, yeah, come and enjoy it. Does that mean that the future generations will also be uh, lairds of the land? 
That's correct, yes. Yeah. So uh, obviously when, when the time comes for them to take on the title, we can obviously reissue the documents and, and they can then have the title. So oh, okay, the new... Lord, Lord Barney and Lord Rory. Lord Barney and Lord Rory. <laughs> Not to mention Lady Olive. <laughs> Lady Olive. Oh, okay. There's three of them going to be sharing the 10 square foot of Scotland. I'm going camping. Does anyone want to come camping with me? I'm so excited. There's an offer for you, Dave, of Tyrol. <laughs> Julia, <laughs> Julia, how, like, sorry, Lady Julia, do you think people react differently to you now, especially when they see your credit card in shops in LA? Oh, listen, without a doubt, they definitely take a bit of a second glance at it and pretend it's normal. That's one of my favourite things, is they kind of look at the credit card and they'll be like, hello, and then I look down at Lady and they'll... Oh, okay, all the best. And also, I, I think it's it's a little disconcerting when they see a booking before I arrive and it's Lady Julia Morris and then I turn up from Gosford. <laughs> hey, how's it going, all right? And I think that... that Lady Julia of Gosford, I love it. <laughs> yeah, it, but I think it's... Um, for me, it's really demystified the aristocracy because, really, even up the high end, the ones that the Queen gets out every now and then, you can buy one of those. <laughs> but don't ever quote me on that because I'm not convinced that's factual. But it's a rumour I heard. <laughs> I like the fact that the only credit card sample we've got from Lady Julia Murray is the egg card. What is egg card? <laughs> Absolutely. You better get That's the goose like eggs out, Classy. It's Lady Julia Morris. <laughs> That's what I want to go and lay my eggs on my land. Simple as that. <laughs> we should all get together and put our land together and maybe build like a miniature hotel or something. That's right. We could take over Glencoe, totally turn it into a Catholic stronghold. <laughs> Girls Catholic private school education, oh. and really, I, I absolutely had to buy the title to become a lady. That's not story altogether. I'm not here to blame Dominicans. I'm hearing you, honey. At this point, poor Alex is thinking she's made a big mistake <laughs> granting us land and Glencoe. Crazy Australians. <laughs> Alex, thank you very much like for, uh, for informing us about this. Quickly, before we go, anyone can buy, right? <laughs> That's right. Obviously, um, you know, we, our prices start at, at fifty dollars and, and go up in, in increments depending on what size land you purchase. Very we good. provide you all the documents so that you can change it officially by uh, by your master title deed, and you can change all your documents and truly be the laird, lord, or lady. Well, I can see it now, Lord Daryl of Nary Warren. That kind of thing would be lovely, won't it? Right. All right, thank you very much for joining us. Thank, thank you, Lady thank Julian you. of Gosford. Well, thank you for having me. <laughs> it is my pleasure. I needed to be with my peeps. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to go out fishing on the lock, Sammy? Mmm. Hi. Yeah. Hi. I, I love camping and going. Next holidays, I'm I'm there. You could go stag shooting or something like the royal family do. Mmm. Mm. Make it into a hat. <laughs> yeah, well, I always wanted a big fur hat. Like a, a big stag hat would be a bit <laughs> over the top, wouldn't it?